Good Sunday afternoon, everybody. Come on in. It's time to get Sunday dinner going. I tell y'all what, I'm feeling on top of the world. I thank God. I tell you, I felt so good this morning. I, of course, I always pray, but I did a different type of prayer, a prayer of thanksgiving and a prayer that I wanted to share with everybody just to say, you know, thank you, Lord, for my good health and my strength. Thank you for those days when I can wake up feeling like this. And most days I wake up feeling pretty good. But today, i tell you the truth, um, it was just one of those physical things that I'm having. And I'm still having it. Um, you know, my body still goes through what it goes through. But my spirit, it is well with my soul. I'm telling y'all, when those days happen, we need to share. We need to bear witness to them. We need to testify about the goodness of the Lord and how well he looks after us and allows us to have these kind of days. So, whew, let me stop before I get started on something else, y'all. But anyway, I just want to say, I don't know who else might be able to um, attest to that this morning, but I certainly think that someone else can. I just wanted to share it. That's just my testimony this morning. And I just want to let y'all know that I pray for everybody that I've ever come in contact with in life. Even my, my children, of course, you know, special blessings that God will watch over them, enlarge their territories, uh, heal their bodies, uh, ease their minds, and convict their spirit about the things of God. So just want to share that with you as well. Of course, it's Sunday dinner time, and um, I'm sort of starting late because what I'm cooking won't take a long time to cook so much, but there's a lot of prep work to this meal here, so... Y'all just watch me cook today, and I'll be talking throughout, of course, as I usually do. Of course, my favorite thing in the world, chicken drumsticks. And what I'm making with these chicken drumsticks is some um, some jerk, pineapple jerk chicken. Okay, last night I cleaned up my chicken. I seasoned it with my onion powder, garlic powder, uh, complete seasoning, jerk seasoning, um... Yeah, and pretty much that was it. And, and you know, of course, I don't put a lot to do the salt and pepper. If you want to put a little salt and pepper, wonderful. I did sprinkle maybe a half a teaspoon in all four, on all 14 of these uh, chicken legs. Now, I have also made a pineapple marinade to dip these legs in because I'm, what I'm going to do is I dip them into the marinade just a little bit. I didn't want to let them sit overnight in the marinade because you know, I want that glaze to be like on top. So when you bite into it, it mixes with the flavor that's already there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just dip each one lightly and then I'm gonna put it in the pan and let it sear a little bit. And then they're going into a 375 degree oven for about an hour and 15 minutes, I think, because these are pretty good size. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting these in. Uh, I've left the skin on. <clears throat> I'm hoping that uh, the skin will crisp up on here for me. And then that way, I can uh, we'll have a nice crispy skin. This sauce, I'm telling this 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 dinner today is work intensive. It's not, doesn't take that long to cook it. But it's kind of a lot of work. Like I did the clean the chicken, did all that last night. Then you got to... Um, <clears throat> it's not just the chicken, it's also the sides that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using some sides here. You can get that skillet hot, but then turn it back down because remember, this is sweet and we don't want nothing burning. I am just want to sear this a little bit in my olive oil over here in my wok pan. Okay. Let's go get them going. If I got 14 of these to put in, and like I said, this is called uh, pineapple jerk chicken. You know, uh, the jerk chicken go well with the pineapple flavor. I'm going to use this up. Now let me try some pineapple. I got about a half of them in there. And basically what I'm gonna do is just, is just dip them into my marinade and then put them into my skillet and let them uh, 
brown up a little bit. And then they're going into the oven. So hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, I think they've browned enough. One got just really brown. That's what you have to be careful so it don't get too brown. So if you can brown them on one side, flip them at least one time, and then go ahead and get them into the oven uncovered and let them bake for about an hour and a half at 375. So hold on, and we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I am back. The other item on the menu today is beef wellington. So I'm going to be preparing a... Um, ground turkey and ground <laughs> chuck beef wellington. I'm not going to use like the sliced steak or anything like that. I'm using ground meat to make this beef wellington because I'm calling it a uh, a Wellington um, casserole. Okay, so I've got one pound of ground turkey and one pound of ground um, chuck that I'm mixing. So I'm going to go ahead and Get it into my pan. trying to make this brown that, that you know go online there's a perfectly good uh, recipe online i got this partially online and partially from watching a friend make it i mean it's real simple very real simple so we're gonna have and the ingredients for this we, we, we're gonna talk about this because you can use like uh any kind of steak that you want to use, but for this purpose, we're using ground beef. So we're using, we're going to be using cheeses, uh, we're using uh, broccoli, chopped onions, uh, and of course all the seasons. And I'll probably make a little bit of syrup to thicken it a little bit, a little bit of, throw a little flour in there to thicken it up, or egg. So we'll see. But for right now, we want to get this uh, ground meat done. And to it, I'm going to be adding some of my ginger garlic. The table, everything's going to be in tablespoon. Well, actually, two teaspoons. I'm sorry, two teaspoons of my ginger garlic. couple teaspoons of my chicken bouillon. Oh, if you got beef bouillon, you use beef. I don't have to have beef. You know, I don't know why. I, I guess because I don't buy the big, big, big size of beef one. But if you want to, you can use chicken. Okay. I'm going to get my garlic powder going on over here. Of course, I got my chicken already in the oven. It's smelling good, y'all. Oh, and by the way, I upped my heat to 400 rather than 375 because I don't want any juice to form in that pan. So here goes my garlic, my two teaspoons of garlic. Yeah, on that chicken, I upped the heat from 375 to 350 because, you know, chicken, I had to remember, chicken does have a lot of um, liquid. So I don't want that liquid to form too much. So if it forms, Another 25 degrees to dry it up right quick. And I also have it in there uncovered. So, okay. So, we're just going to keep on stirring this really, really good. I'm going to go ahead and add my onions in now. Add some onion. That's one uh, large onion, chopped. And like I said, this this Sunday dinner today, it's sort of work intensive, but it'll be well worth the work when I get done with it. I'm gonna need now my black pepper, 
in my complete season. And remember now, two teaspoons. Well, I reckon I've sent a soup party out for my big thing of black pepper. There it is, it's hiding. One teaspoon of black pepper. <coughs> this is going to be so good, y'all. I don't know if you've ever eaten beef well. I've eaten it both ways with the steak and with the um, brown meat. Either way is good, but I like it better like this. Mm, that's gonna be so good. Just make sure you get that um, meat seasoned up really, 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 really good, y'all. Okay, we got it going on now. So this process takes about a good 10 minutes to get everything uh, sauteed. Next, I'm going to go ahead and put my broccoli in. Now, the recipe that I was uh, going to use calls, actually calls for um, take a pound and a half. Yeah. Let's go ahead. This is one pound of broccoli, y'all. Two pounds of meat, but I don't think I'm gonna use all the broccoli since I got extra. I, mean, I want more meat than, than broccoli in here, okay? So we're gonna turn that heat up high because I want all this liquid to soak into my uh, ingredients, okay? until the cheese goes in. And I chose not to put um, mushrooms. You know, we talked about mushrooms sometimes folks have allergic reaction to mushrooms. So I know uh, one, at least one of my family members, he's not gonna be here. But still, I try to consider the mushroom factor. So we're just gonna let that sort of cook until that, to the broccoli cooks in real good. Okay. Because pretty much everything is already done that's inside of this Wellington. Um, that's why you want to let it cook. Because the only thing that you're going to be cooking once you put it into the oven is actually the crust. And that crust only takes maybe 20, 25 minutes. So that's why all this got, this, this, uh, these ingredients are pretty much done when you are uh, finished making the filling for it. So, if you'll hang tight, I'm gonna go grab my cheese and when I come back, I'm gonna let this cool down and we're gonna start mixing the cheese in here. We're gonna put lots of cheese in there, y'all. Lots of mozzarella and cheddar and uh, I think I got some uh, Colby and Monterey Jack. I like lots of cheese in there. Okay. Be right back. Okay, y'all, um, back. I've got my uh, broccoli in. And y'all know I have to have my, me, myself, and I moment with things. So I put some shredded potatoes or diced or shredded potatoes. Just put a few in there just for extra bite. And I'm going to put in uh, some butter, stick of butter. Butter. Just a one one little stick, one little stick. We get all once I get all this, you know what I mean? I want that uh, all those juices to soak into the uh, broccoli and into the meat. And then the last thing I'm gonna be putting in 
is going to be my, uh, I'm going to put some cream in there and uh, a little flour. Okay. And of course, you know that I put the cheese. And it's going to be yummy, y'all. Yummy, y'all. I'll go back over how I did this because I, you know, I always shy a little bit away from the recipe. So this is two pounds of ground, whatever you want to use, turkey, lamb, beef. I'm using turkey and beef. A pound, I went ahead and put the rest of my broccoli as well. A pound of uh, broccoli, you know, the chopped broccoli. You can buy it fresh or you can buy it fresh frozen. Uh, and then just season it up real good with all, the, all your favorite seasonings. Uh, onion powder, garlic powder. And this is going to be two teaspoons each. About a uh, half a cup of uh, these little potatoes. I'm just going to let this cook in here. This is going to be so good, y'all. So good. I'm going to put me a little bit more of black pepper. I tasted of it and um, it tastes like it needs some more black pepper. So, about another half a teaspoon of uh, black pepper. Okay. I don't know if you have the ginger garlic or not. You can just use, um, if you don't have this ginger garlic, somebody tell me you can buy it online. If you don't have it, then you can always just, just use your uh, sprinkle garlic. Or you can crush some real garlic and put in there. Either way. Okay. Wonderful, 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 y'all. It's going to be so good when I get all that cheese in there. It's already good, you know. And listen, guys. When you cook your food, period, you know, I always look at cooking shows and um, to see just the simple thing. And, and one of the, the simplest thing that somebody got sent home for was uh, food didn't have enough salt, had too much salt, whatever, because you didn't taste it. If you don't taste it, you won't know. So we're going to leave that alone and stop bothering it for a minute or two. And then I'm going to come back with my cheese. 